Hi students, welcome back. Let's continue with the implicit and explicit parallelism. In the previous video, I explained about the uh, definitions and the concept of implicit and explicit. Now let's have a look on the difference between implicit and explicit. Suppose if you didn't understand whatever I explained in the previous video, here you, your doubts can be clarified. So whenever we are trying to differentiate the things, then you will clearly understand what exactly the concept is. Okay. So that's why I had taken the difference also so that you get a clear confidence on the concept. Now let's have a look. Implicit parallelism. What is this implicit parallelism? The name itself it is saying everything will be done inside. You have no need to suppose to do implicit. Explicit means everything you have to done outside. Nothing is happening inside. So that is the main difference here they are focusing here. Uh, okay. The name itself it is uh, replicating. Uh, it's saying that what the concept is. Now. Implicit parallelism. It is a characteristics of a programming language. So it's just a characteristic of a programming language that allows a compiler or interpreter that automatically exploits the parallelism. So that means it is automatically doing the a parallelism. You are not supposed to do anything. So that is a characteristics of a programming language. Whatever the programming language that you are taking. So it is allowing the compiler or interpreter to automatically exploit parallelism. Then come to the explicit. So what it is doing? It is a representation of. It is a representation of. Concurrent computations by means of a primitives in the form of a special purpose directives or function call. So here you are supposed to write a special primitives means it's nothing but it relating to the process synchronization communications or ta some task partitionings. So those you call it as a primitives. So these primitives in, in the form of a special purpose directives or function calls. Now coming to the implicit parallelism. So implicit parallelism uses the conventional languages. So what are the conventional languages? The C, C++, Fortran or, and Pascal to write the source program. Okay. Then coming to the explicit parallelism, what type of programming languages it is using to uh, uh, explain the, means implement the explicit parallelism. It requires more effort. Obviously, you have to put more effort when compared to the implicit code, writing the code of imp for implicit. It requires a more effort by programmers to develop a source program, to develop a source program using the parallel dialects. Dialects means here nothing but a particular version of programming languages in the C, C++, Fortran and Pascal also. You have to uh, select a particular version of programming language so that language is helpful for creating an explicit parallelism means here you are going to create a special purpose directives function calls operators by using that uh, particular version of programming language so obviously the programmer has to requires more effort to write the programs in the explicit parallelism now Implicit parallelism. The sequential coded source program is translated into parallel object or parallel object code by a parallelism compiler. Whereas the explicit parallelism, the parallelism is explicitly specified in the user program itself. In the user program itself, you are going to specify the explicit parallelism. Now, the another difference in the implicit parallelism is compiler detects the parallelism first the compiler automatically it is while compiling or interpreting it detects the parallelism so means which instruction has to be work in uh, parallel so it detects the parallelism and assigns the target machine resources to that particular instruction and whereas in explicit parallelism burden on the compiler is reduced on parallelism specified explicitly so this is one of the advantage for the compiler because here the compiler is no, uh, not a, uh, it is not supposed to detect the uh, parallelism concept automatically because everything is writing by the com uh, programmer uh, Outside means explicitly he is, he is uh, creating the uh, special functions, directives, operators, everything he is creating. So there is no burden for the compiler. It is just translating the code. That's it. It is not doing any special function. It's just translating the code. So burden on compiler is reduced in explicit parallelism. Now coming to the implicit. 
Success relies on intelligence of the parallelism compiler. It requires less effort for, from programmers, whereas the in explicit programmers effort is more special because the software tools needed to make environment more friendly to user group. And coming to the implicit parallelism, it is applied in a shared memory multiprocessor. Whenever you are using the shared memory multiprocessor, it's better to go for the implicit parallelism. And coming to the explicit, it is applied in a loosely coupled multiprocessor. When there is no shared concept, it's better to go for the explicit parallelism. So this is the main difference between the implicit and explicit. So what do you understand from this? Which one is the better? So based on the programming environment only, each one is having their own capabilities. Each one is having their own capability. So here we are reducing the programmer's burden and here we are reducing the compiler burden. That is the main difference between the implicit and explicit. So based on the programming environment, the programmer can select either we have to select the implicit parallelism or explicit parallelism. Thank you.